Nobody likes a snitch, which is why it would explain why most people are not big fans of Malia White from Below Deck Mediterranean. Malia became public enemy number one at last season when she tattled on a colleague, Hannah Ferrier, to their captain, Sandy Yon, for unclaimed possession of Valium, which led to Chief Stu being fired from her job. Looking back, Malia says she regrets her actions, not what she did, but how she did it. I don't regret doing my job, but I do regret how I handled it, a 31-year-old told U.S. Weekly. It all went down Season 5 of the Bravo series in August 2020, where Malia made Captain Sandy aware of the anti-anxiety medication and a CBD vape pen in Hannah's room. The 34-year-old at the time of accusation could not produce a prescription for her Valium, which led to her firing. However, Hannah later posted a photo of her medication that Malia supposedly took to later send to Captain Sandy to snitch on her. I like Malia's arranging skills, she tweeted, referencing alongside the photo. So that's prescribed Valium CBD, which is legal in Spain, a lighter, not sure what this has to do with anything, and my passport holder. And for anyone who's interested, the prescription is on the other side of the box, as shown. Underscore below deck med. Malia has since also responded saying that the problem was not if she had a prescription, but that she did not disclose that information to the crew. I never said you can't have medications, you just have to follow proper procedures that are in place to protect all crew members," Malia explained on Instagram. The captain of the vessel has the right to know who might be taking what and when. Malia further explained her sorry not sorry view, repeating that she could have handled it a lot better. I do have regrets about everything went down last season, but I don't have a, a regret having to do my job, she told the US. She now regrets ever getting involved as she further stated. I would have maybe tried to stay out of it a little bit more because as a busting you don't want to get involved with crew things, but you're in that spot where you are directly under the captain. Malia also used the opportunity to share her equally unapologetic stance on her fight with a roommate, Lexi Wilson, in the latest season 6. It's like frustrating tears, like here's this girl that I think I came with so many preconceived notions of who I was and that is frustrating, she explained. Like dude, I hope you get the feeling that I have right now after the show comes out. Unlike uh, Malia, Lexi did apologize to her the next morning, claiming that she was drunk beyond comprehension and didn't even remember her actions from the past night. However, Malia did not accept her apology, which she claims is insincere. I think she was kind of like, yeah, whatever, I don't remember. I'm sorry, like, everyone get over it, the Below Deck Med Star recalled. We were like, how do you not remember? You were saying some, like, pretty intense stuff, you know? So I don't think it was as sincere as we wanted it to be, but I think for her, that's the best we were going to get. On the other hand, Lexi has also said her personal problems were also to blame for her lashing out and losing control. I had a ton of stuff going on in my head, like a lot of stuff, but I didn't tell anyone, which is my fault, and I guess I wasn't dealing with it properly, which is also my fault, she told The Daily Dish last month. In that short space, you know, 15-hour working days, a lot going on, and just like alcohol doesn't make it better. I had a lot going on with my dad. I'm still reeling with emotions there. Any little thing triggered me, like out of control, actually. What do you think? Is Malia right?